the process. You do it all, it seems to me, from top to bottom. You write the story, you create the characters, you then draw the characters, you create the masks, you create, I don't know the technical terms. The, the heads. The heads, <laughs> the heads, then the bodies. Yeah. Uh, did you arrive at that, or did you did you say I, n I need to walk and talk this whole process in order to create the world of Penny Plain? I think the process evolved over a long period of time, like all little puppet boys. I just wanted to make puppets, and so <clears throat> early on, I had to write scripts for those puppets to have a reason to do something. You know what I mean? I would build puppets and then think, oh. I've got melodrama characters, I better come up with a melodrama or, you know, it's more about making the puppets and wanting to perform them. Um, and most people do that and stay at a certain level. Um, if, uh, and then when I started Theatre of Marionettes, it did sort of become about the idea, the concept, meaning the script and the genre or whatever I was exploring. Um, and it very subtly switched around and became about writing first and designing what I had written, um, it, almost like the real theater. Uh, and that's how that process started. But yeah, I, I, I write first now. And once I have a pretty clear idea of the characters and a beginning and an end and a title, then the snowball starts rolling down the hill. Right. Uh, and the snowball is really, you know, like you had alluded to a bit earlier, um, how, how do we finance this? So as soon as there's a title and I have an idea how long it'll take to build, I tell my agent so we can pre-sell it because right. that's how we finance it. Um, uh, and that's, you know, that is actually maybe an ideal way to work or not an ideal. I always think... I wish I wasn't always working towards deadline. But when it says, you know, Penny Plain is commissioned by the Citadel Theatre and the National Arts Centre, yeah. that means you've taken the idea of Penny Plain to both those organizations and they agree for you to tour it out there, they'll put in a chunk at the top. Yeah, and they'll give it a, a run, which is even more important, you know. Right. And then uh, other people will come on board. In the past, we've had, you know, the Sydney Opera House and the Barbican you know, the world has changed in the last year, so a lot of Europeans aren't booking as quickly as they used to. But right. yeah, we would, we would have co-producers from three to five organizations around And so your agent is your business manager then, or is it you who sits down and works out the budget? I work it out. So yeah. you think if he I have this, it around. if these commissionings come in, then I have enough to build, and if I get these bookings, that means that show the bone, the bones, the financial bones are taken care of, and then maybe there'll be more venues. Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. yeah. And you know, with the Penny Plain tour, the tour was in place domestically for the uh, one, two, three, for the six cities we're playing in Canada this season. That was all in place before the show was built. Right. Um, and, and as I was saying, you know, I always think, oh man, I'd love to not have a deadline to build toward uh, and just fall for around and you know, smoke shatans and wear a beret and conceptualize for a year. But I, I actually think I would sit on the couch with the dogs and watch TV and not get anything done. So deadlines are really good, you know. It, it really means you're opening on this day. And what's your time frame from conception of story to getting commissions to actually production? Probably two years. You know, there's, you know, while Penny's on tour, I'm already doodling new ideas and I call it doodle writing at midnight. and when you get back to the hotel after the show. Um, and, and that's pretty private. I don't really talk about that with people for the first year until I get really uh, romantically involved with an idea and some characters. But once, once I know there's something there that I want to do, then it's a full year to build including the designing and the drawing and the script workshops, which I do, and public readings of the various drafts of the script while we're building the show. So you workshop the script, so to speak? Oh, yeah, a lot. Uh, where? Uh, with Penny Plain, I did uh, two public readings here at Factory. Uh, I did one in Calgary, and I did one as a benefit at the Vancouver East Cultural Center. And what I would do after those readings is we would then, you know, with Iris Turcott um, or the composer, John Alcorn, we would we'd have a little mini workshop or a week-long workshop 
post reading so I could come back and say, okay, I said it was funny, it was funny. They laughed. They laughed more than I thought. Or, but this is a workshop without marionettes. It. It's me on stage reading. You Just, with paper going, ba 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 Yeah. And people uh, show up for them. People are crazy for I've those. I've never known of You have to tell me because oh, I love Oh, people to come love on. those. In fact, everybody says, you don't have to build the puppets. Just do this, right? 